The past is as fascinating as the future, isn't it? Today, we're diving into history with a fascinating collection of 40 vintage photos that show more than expected. From surprising moments to hidden details, these 40 images offer glimpses that are sure to captivate and intrigue. So sit back, relax, and let's get straight into the video. The first picture shows the Starship Enterprise's leader, William Shatner, going to where no man has boldly gone before while bringing along his suspicious favorite toy. On the Brady Bunch, which aired on ABC every Friday from 1969 to the beginning of 1974, Maureen McCormick portrayed Marcia Brady. Marcia, Marcia, Marcia was shouted by admirers at her gorgeous look and sparkling personality. Michelle Carey, a beauty from the 1960s, is best remembered for playing Josephine Joey MacDonald in the 1966 movie El Dorado. She also appeared in the 1965 kitsch classic How to Stuff a Wild Bikini. Carrie is proving that appearance in the picture up there, and the conclusion is very well. This photo shows Princess Diana relaxing off the shore of Portofino, Italy, while on vacation with her then-partner Dodi Al-Fayed. Dodi's father, a wealthy businessman, Mohammed Al-Fayed, owner of this boat, named Johnny Carl. Another beauty, Debbie Harry, performed a dog dance at a Whiskey A Go Go in Los Angeles in 1977. Dee Dee Ramone, who was present that evening, remembered, Deborah Harry was smashing. The front of the stage filled with boys hoping to catch a glimpse of her white bikini briefs hidden up a skirt. This one is for the DC fans. Yvonne Craig is getting ready for her part as Batgirl in the campy ABC TV series Batman in the 1960s. Batgirl donned up a purple and a yellow suit, although it's not clear from this picture. This picture shows the star of the well-liked television program Bewitched, Elizabeth Montgomery. She portrayed a witch who could get away with anything by wriggling her witch nose and living a suburban housewife lifestyle. The following picture depicts the boldness of women in the 90s era. When it comes to pants, hot styles are my favorites. Here is a publicity photo of British actress Madeleine Smith in hot pants and lace-up boots, who gained fame for her 1970 movie The Vampire Lovers. Here, two beauties, Linda Carter and Loni Anderson, posing for a promotional photo of a television show called Partners in Crime 1984. The NBC television program Partners in Crime had one season and 13 episodes before it got cancelled. The following picture will amaze you about vintage fashion. The pointy bullet bra popular in the 1950s gave ladies the appearance of having torpedo breasts. Undoubtedly, the trend of showcasing large, triangular-shaped breasts was in vogue the Whirlpool Circle Stitch, a new circular stitching technique, contributed to the missile effect which went well with the era's skin-tight sweaters. The epitome of beauty, Marilyn Monroe, she pictured in 1953 by John Vachon. She was shooting River of No Return in Canada. Here is a picture of Nye Bonnet, a belly dancer, actress, and a singer who worked in the 1960s and 1970s. She acted in a couple of films and TV shows. Lemmy, Kilnister, and Samantha Fox in the 1980s. Over time, the unexpected duo stayed friends, and the rest is rock history. Getting ready to dance, Sandy Duncan is posing for the camera. Anything and everything was within Sandy Duncan's abilities. She performed on stage and in cinema as an actress, singer, dancer, and even comedian. In this stunning old photograph, Sharon Tate appears classy. Her high heels are tossed aside as she sits on a footstool in the backdrop. In this lovely old photo from 1958, you can see Marilyn Monroe in a more conventional role. She is seen in the picture giving the spouse with a drink while he talks with a colleague. Here's another side of Samantha from Bewitched. It's this beautiful old photograph she acted as a wealthy woman who fell in love with a gangster. Louise Dal Wolf is the photographer of this lovely old picture. He is an accomplished photographer who has done work for Harper's Bazaar. He often shot covers and created custom black and white sets for actresses. Harlem in the 1970s is a true example of strength demonstrating resiliency in an already ravaged community. In this stunning old photograph, one can watch a couple going about their daily lives in Harlem as the world implodes. This lovely old photograph depicts the feminists struggle for their rights as they continue to do. Of all, these women faced even more oppressive roles than women do today. Guns weren't a significant concern in the past. Even in Columbine and more recent school shootings, students got permitted to join shooting clubs like the one shown in this lovely old photo. Rosemary Schunk, a young student, is pictured here as she fashioned her clothing self. Compared to prior years, style and fashion were more DIY. 
Strong woman from the 1930s, Louise Lears, is captured in this image. The allure of this stunning old photograph lies less in the muscular definition and more in the strength of 19th century women. In 1966, Emily Banks played yeoman Tonya Barrows on Star Trek, exposing the cameraman more than he had thought. Speaking on the role, she expressed her surprise at the work that went into being on the show. Jane Mansfield and Jane Loren. Is it a wonder why this image captures one of the most famous candid moments in history? Look closer! Before becoming shipwrecked on Gilligan's Island, Tina Louise appeared in The Warrior Empress in 1960. At one of the top acting schools in the 20th century, the Strasbourg Institute, she acquired her acting skills. In 1964, a Scandinavian stewardess checked the proposed new uniform for Scandinavian Airlines. Oddly enough, it got rejected. You might recall Jocelyn Lane as Elvis Presley's love interest in the movie Tickle Me, in which the king starred as a champion bull rider, but she had quite the career before she was a hunker hunker burning love. Avoid skipping the video because the 35th and 36th pictures will leave you amazed. Look again, that's not Sophia Loren, that's Skilla Gable, her body double in several of her most well-known Italian movies. Even if they weren't identical twins, they could have been. When Faye Dunaway acted in The Happening, she had already achieved great fame. She became well-known among movie buffs and guys because of her breakthrough performance in Bonnie and Clyde. The legendary Yanis Joplin. Elliot Landy took the pictures in 1968 while visiting Rhode Island. We may consider Yanis Joplin a one of the significant and moving voices of the 1960s, but the singer claims that her parents were the only ones who failed to comprehend her. Remember the stunning Alexandra Bastido and her heart-piercing eyes? The fascinating honor of being a Bond lady who wasn't actually in an authorized 007 film belongs to British-born Alexandra Bastido. Nobody better than Priscilla Presley, Elvis Presley's only true love, personifies the jet set lifestyle of the 1960s. One of the few who had been in contact with the king was she. Raquel Welch captured shooting on the Magic Christian set 1969. Welch portrays the priestess of the whip in the movie. However, the garishness of her costume gets lost in the din of this over the top critique of capitalism. By the start of the 1960s, Wood had developed from a child star to a legitimate adult actress, with a resume full of highly acclaimed plays. In 1962, Sophia Loren wore fishnet stockings. Sophia Loren, one of the most attractive women on the planet, could have survived the 1960s based on her beauty alone, but she is more than just a lovely face. Mihama, a Japanese actress, portrayed Kissy Suzuki in the James Bond movie You Only Live Twice. Two of the first sweater girls, Jane Mansfield and Lana Turner, were the actresses who favoured wearing very tight sweaters to draw attention to their chests. In the 1960s, Raquel Welch was donning a leotard. She is one of the most well-known female figures from the 1960s, although most of our memories of her revolve around the fur bikini that forced everyone to look twice. When she got into the movies, she said she didn't realise how crucial her appearance would be. A teenage Anne Margaret on the State Fair set in 1962. She enjoyed singing for the troops at USO events during Vietnam, with performing in some of the most entertaining movies of the 1960s. Soldiers went insane when they saw her perform, since she got so adored during the era. That concludes today's video. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment to see more of this kind of fascinating content. We shall see you at the following one if you subscribe to us for more of this sort of stuff.